Uh, Bill, first of all, I'd like to thank you. I think that you're, you and Public Works are doing a really good job, and I want to thank you for it. Well, thank you. Uh, I have a question. When will the uh, uh, paper be done? Uh, we expect it to be ready this week. This week? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Okay. Next is the engineer support uh, report, Dan. Thank you. Uh, under my report tonight, I'm just going to highlight uh, some of the items. Uh, you all have a copy of my report. Under the uh, development items, <clears throat> just to report that there was a pre-construction meeting last week on Anger Road. Uh, improvements. We had the uh, chief here and uh, almost everybody from the township on the staff side and, and a couple of supervisors attended. I thought it was a good meeting. We uh, got the issues out. So we got some minutes out from that meeting. Uh, the developer will be pressing forward with those improvements here in the month of June. Uh, so we're going to get out early and advise all the people along the road as to what's going to happen there. Uh, in addition to that, uh, we were asked to put together an estimate related to improving the other part of Anger Road from Fawn Lane out to Burnside. I'm going to hold on all those estimates until we talk about everything together. It's probably best that way to talk about Coleman and everything else that's kind of out there. That's okay. Yeah, because yeah, it's an awful lot we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Uh, there's, uh, and then at the, uh, moving on to the reserve at South Point, uh, we had a meeting out there. Uh, Andy came along. Uh, the developer uh, is actually looking for some other areas that they can take some some fill from their property. At the same time, we need some help in moving some topsoil around. Uh, so I, I formulated at least what I thought was an email uh, back to them and told them what, what conditions we thought that would be in. And we'll bring that back to the board once uh, there's some acceptance on their part if they want to help out over there and if we want to help them out. So we'll be back to you at a later date with something on that. Uh, regarding uh, <clears throat> Windsor Woods, I've still not heard anything back from the bonding company. I do have a, a call to them and an email in to them. As soon as I hear anything back, I'll be sure to let everybody know. Under uh, Cool Valley, we did submit the uh, letter on the traffic study. I think it was a 12-page letter on the traffic study. Pretty, pretty in-depth uh, amount of things missing in that study and concerns in there. There's supposed to be a meeting to be set up with PennDOT. Uh, we'll advise the board when that meeting is to be set up, but that's kind of that's going to organize that. And then, uh, just uh, to go over today, uh, well, uh, I'm sorry, Clanger Park, uh, Plavchek has completed the seating of the third field up there. Uh, they've requested final payment. Uh, we need to discuss that with the solicitor uh, in executive session, so we'll do that later. Under the uh, South Point Boulevard, as everybody knows, they've been working on the force main and redoing the sewers over there related to providing more capacity. There's been some issues related to that. One of them is going to force them to bore underneath South Point Boulevard. I just heard about that tonight. Uh, we will get with uh, the township and make sure that they get the proper permits to do that boring under the road. I've got to give more details on that, but I thought I'd pass that along. Uh, that's really it uh, for my report. Uh, I think maybe uh, Joe's here. Uh, we can wait till we get to that agenda item on Coleman Road Emergency if you want to discuss all those items. Discuss everything that's happening. Dan, I have a question. Yes. Um, how does how is our development being going to be affected by the letter that just came in from the DEP regarding Kensburg Eastman Authority? Uh, as I understand it, the letter that Elizabeth's referring to is there's a letter from Emily Shade that's out there that's saying that essentially there is going to be no taps issued for the request that was made in the fall of last year. So effectively, if you don't have any taps and you flow to the Cannonsburg plant, you're not able to obtain any taps at this point in time. Well, did you get a copy of the letter? Yes. My recollection, I have it here somewhere, but my recollection is that it's a little further than that, asking everyone to back off and to reconsider the number of taps because we're not going to get all of them. But that's correct. That's a part of it. But, but essentially right now, nobody has taps. So, so that's, that's even the more critical issue is that if you have lots developed and you didn't purchase taps last year, you can't do your, you can't 
complete your development. Bruce can't issue a building permit. And what is the status with the development that's presently going on, if you know? As, as I understand it from developers that I've talked to, is like, for instance, at the reserve, they have some taps to cover a couple of their buildings uh, for whatever, whatever I guess, that they at least have. What about the overlook on Anger Road? The overlook, they have some taps left, but, but again, it's not for their build-out. They're, they're purchasing them ahead, but not way ahead. They don't have all their taps for the entire development. And what about uh, at South Point, that, um, in South Point, the, no, not Ironwood. Um, Ansys or, or some of the big buildings there? Yeah, the apartment building that was going on. The apartment buildings that have their taps. They're going to get them. Yeah, they have them. Bruce, I don't want to steal Bruce's thunder, but Bruce won't issue issue a building permit until he has sewer taps. That, that is correct. I, I cannot any any uh, building that comes in that has uh, uh, potential for public sewage. Uh, I have not. I'm unable to issue any permit at this time based upon the EP's letter. But, but, but it's so safe to assume that anything that is right now. Right, but the, the, just to follow up, anything that is under construction has tax. Every permit, to, everything that's under construction out there right now, there was a, it was required for them to have, have evidence of a sewer tap and pay and provide that evidence that received to me so I can issue the permit. So, yes, you're correct. Everything that's under construction right now has sewer taps. Okay. But it, it could affect some things pretty rapidly here. Like, for instance, future phases of the overlook don't have taps. That's correct. They need money to pay for Anchor Road. Uh, that's all predicated on taps being taken down and lots being taken down. So, I mean, it could have a ripple effect and affect a lot of the development that is going on. Over, over in South Point, the developer uh, over in South Point, they pre purchased taps uh, for. Most most of their development years prior, so they they have theirs. So like Main Street, yes, yeah, Main Street. Does. But, but it's it's a mixed bag to answer your question, Elizabeth. Some people but have them. Those who have paid for them in the past, there's no moratorium. On That's them. correct. They didn't cut them off completely. Thank you. Okay, the, the next on our agenda is the solicitor. John. Yes, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, provided the board with a short report this evening. Um, as the board is aware, next, I think it's Thursday, um, we'll be arguing Act 13, the remand issues before the Commonwealth Court. Um, there's four issues before the court. The PUC wants to go back to reviewing local ordinances to um, potentially deny impact fees. Um, the medical gag provision where doctors are not allowed to talk to their patients and or others about chemicals that they may have been exposed to. Uh, the DEP under state law is to provide notice to spills from drill sites to people on public water but not private wells. And we're challenging that the state has given the oil and gas industry eminent domain powers to take property for storage facilities. So that'll be next week. Um, the industry has been granted uh, to have time for gas storage. Well, I don't know because they say storage fields. Storage fields have the geology for uh, wastewater storage as well as gas storage. So they don't say you have to store gas, you just have the ability to, to take a storage field. And that's why we don't have a lot of waste disposal wells around here because anything that has like the Donable storage field, the, the geology to hold gas would be ideal for storage of wastewater as well. So maybe sometime in the so future. they're talking about ejection wells basically? Well, they're not really, they don't say, they just say storage fields are, they've been given eminent domain powers. We've argued that the state cannot give private companies the power to take from citizens. Um, the, we're still waiting for the Mark West uh, uh, Cecil Township Zoning Hearing Board uh, decision. I believe all the decisions from that court from that time period have been released, except for ours. Um, I've advised the board about the Durban run water runoff issue. And um, they've advised that they've um, removed themselves from their home. Um, I've asked Mr. Genuso to make sure that our carrier is aware of that, and, and he has, and to uh, make sure that we have counsel appointed for that. I don't know where, I just got the letter, I think I said I know where they went, Elizabeth. So. I didn't get a letter from him. Okay. 
Right. The, um, we spoke about the Rose Avenue issue. Um, the Dennis Flair case um, is still on the court's trial list. Don, I spoke to his counsel on another matter in Peters Township, and I think I may have asked your, you and Dan by email about potentially getting together. He wants to discuss if there's a possible resolution in that matter. Yes, and you had mentioned a supervisor. I'd like to be involved in that. Okay. So we should not be going into litigation. We're, I said that initially. We're going to spend more money litigating it than we're going to possibly receive. Okay. Well, I'll try to set that up, and I'll Thank you. let you know when that is. Um, the snow um, deposit ordinance, I believe that's been circulated to the board. Um, this time of year, there's no rush to get that in, maybe if we were in September, October. But if the board wants to review that, have any uh, potential changes, it's one of those issues from an advertising standpoint we wrestled with because it's amending our zoning ordinance, but it's not a zoning ordinance as to what to comply with the advertising requirements. So we pushed it to the June, um, before the June meeting, if the board wants to have a public hearing on it. Uh, you know what? Um, that had to go to Washington County first. But with, I think we sent it off. I don't. We're not certain it had to, but we're kind of doing overkill because we're not going to rush for time because it's not a true zoning ordinance. Yeah, I think what we're going to consider tonight is maybe pushing that till July. We'll see when it gets Yeah, that, that's fine. And then I just have a person on matter, um, just the, the board is aware of. And um, not on my agenda is, or on my report is that what Dan mentioned about Clinton Park. We can talk if the board wants to have executive session. And I prepared and sent to, uh, to Mr. Genusa today an access agreement for a uh, farm crest drive to do some work on a concrete stormwater box. And... Um, Don asked me to do that actually um, earlier in April, and uh, we've got the revisions back to him. I think Don, the individual is willing to sign off on that? I can present it to you. Okay, then we'll come back to the board. Okay, so if the board, um, Don, I'm not sure if we sent that to everybody on the board. Um, if you want to, or I can circulate that to um, the supervisors to determine if they have any questions or concerns. And mimic some what of our- What is it again? It's a uh, access agreement and release to do work on private property to uh, where it's on uh, farm crest drive you want the person's name not necessarily I, I don't think i received it okay well we'll see dog you or i'll send that out to everybody okay. yeah i can i'll, I'll circulate it amongst the board members okay that's fine that's all i have okay thank you john okay next is uh fire departments is um lawrence number one 